Hey everyone, it's Ellen. I hope you're all doing great and ready for some exciting news in the music world. We all love discovering new music. There's something magical about finding that perfect song that resonates with you. And there's nothing like hearing it live for the first time. The energy, the atmosphere. It's an experience like no other. Tate McRae, who you know from hits like She's All I Wanna Be and You Broke Me First, just gave her fans a real treat. Her performances are always so captivating and full of emotion. She held a super exclusive pop-up show in Los Angeles. It was a surprise event that had everyone talking. Lucky fans got a sneak peek of her new music. Imagine being one of the few to hear those tracks before anyone else. Tate was so excited to finally share these songs. You could see the joy on her face as she performed. She's been working on them for a while, crafting each song with care and passion. It was a chance for her to connect with fans on a personal level. She took the time to interact and share stories behind the songs and to see their reactions firsthand. The smiles, the tears, the cheers, it was all there. The energy in the room was electric. Everyone was on their feet, dancing and singing along. Fans have been buzzing about the new music ever since. Social media is flooded with posts and comments about the event. They can't wait for the official release, and neither can I. The anticipation is building up. Tate's always been open about her songwriting process. She loves to give her fans a glimpse into her creative world. She often shares snippets of new music on social media. It's like a little teaser that keeps everyone hooked. But this pop-up show was different. It was more intimate and personal. It was raw. It was real. You could feel the authenticity in every note and it showed a whole new side of Tate. A side that was vulnerable and deeply personal. One fan said, hearing those unreleased songs live was incredible. It was a moment they'll never forget. Tate's energy was contagious and you could feel the emotion in every word. Her passion for music truly shines through. I'm even more obsessed with her music now. And I know many fans feel the same way. This event has only deepened our love for her artistry. Tate's new album, So Close To What, is a major milestone for her. It represents a new era in her music and her life. This album isn't just a collection of songs, it's a journey. It reflects Tate's growth as an artist and as a young woman finding her place in the world. This album is so special to me, Tate shared in a recent interview. It's the most vulnerable and honest I've ever been in my music. I'm exploring themes I've never really touched on before, and I'm excited for people to hear this new side of me. The album title itself, So Close To What, is intriguing. It suggests a sense of longing, of almost reaching something, but not quite grasping it. This theme of searching for answers, for connection, for oneself, seems to run through the entire album. It's clear that Tate has poured her heart and soul into this project, and fans are eagerly awaiting the chance to dive into the emotions and experiences she lays bare in So Close to What. Tate's been in the spotlight since she was really young. From the moment she stepped onto the stage, it was clear she was destined for greatness. She first gained attention as a dancer on the show, So You Think You Can Dance. Her performances were mesmerizing and she quickly became a fan favorite. Can you believe she was only 13 years old? Talk about talented. Her poise and skill at such a young age were truly remarkable. But it was her music that really made her a star. Transitioning from dance to music, she showcased her versatility and passion for the arts. Remember her breakout single, One Day? She wrote that song when she was just 14. It was a heartfelt track that resonated with many, marking the beginning of her musical journey. It's amazing how much she's accomplished at such a young age. 
From awards to a growing fan base, Tate's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. But Tate's not a kid anymore. She's 20 now, and her music has grown up with her. Her sound has matured, reflecting her personal growth and experiences. Her early songs were about young love and heartbreak, things we can all relate to. They captured the essence of teenage emotions perfectly. But her new music explores more mature themes. She's delving into deeper subjects that resonate with a broader audience. She sings about self-discovery, mental health, and the pressures of fame. These are topics that many young adults face, making her music even more relatable. It's clear that she's not afraid to be honest and vulnerable in her music. This authenticity is what sets her apart and endears her to fans. As I've grown older, my songwriting has definitely evolved, Tate revealed in an interview. Her words reflect her journey and the wisdom she's gained over the years. I'm more aware of myself and the world around me, and that's reflected in my lyrics. This self-awareness is evident in her music, making it deeply personal and impactful. I want my music to be a reflection of my experiences and the things I'm going through. This desire to connect with her audience on a personal level is what drives her creativity. Tate's evolution as an artist is truly inspiring. Her willingness to grow and adapt is a testament to her dedication and passion for her craft. She's not afraid to experiment with new sounds and push creative boundaries. This fearless approach keeps her music fresh and exciting. She's constantly growing and evolving, and her music reflects that journey. Tate McRae's artistic evolution is a beautiful testament to her talent and resilience. Section 4 Growing up in the spotlight. Navigating love, loss and identity. Imagine growing up in the public eye. That's Tate's reality. She's had to navigate the ups and downs of life, the joys of first love, the pain of heartbreak, figuring out who she is. And she's done it all while the world watches. That's a lot of pressure. 